Hello YouTube, um, this is going to be a short tutorial on how to make your computer and games run a lot better, not downloading anything. Now this is just going to be a heads up, this is not going to make your computer look pretty. But um, one thing, your screen will not turn blue like this, this is just because of my recording software. Okay, so first of all, you're going to want to go into your start menu. Um, right click on computer, go to properties, system protection. Now this will not affect your system protection at all. This is just a faster way to getting there. Then you're going to want to go click on the tab advanced, go to performance settings. Then it's going to be probably on either uh, best perform, uh, best appearance, or let Windows decide what's best for my computer. You're going to want to click on adjust for best performance. Now this is the thing that makes your computer look really ugly, but it runs about 10 times better. Click apply. Your monitor may freak out during this. Mine did the first time I did it. Um, so then you're done with that part. Um, then for games and uh, video. Um, you might not have a NVIDIA, but I know with Intel it's very similar. Or Asus or whatever. So you're probably going to click on this page first. Like that will be the first one that you see. Now this one's probably going to be normally either on balanced or on quality. Now this lags your games a lot and so you're going to want to push this to performance. That does a lot. Then click apply. Then you're going to want to go manage 3D settings. These are all... Okay, so just had to do that. So this one you're going to want to press performance. Um, just keep the application controls. Um, that's for better looks, so you're going to want to have that off. This one, I honestly don't know what that is. Um, let's see. If you have multiple displays, this might not be checked, but make sure they have multiple display for performance mode. Um, this one, power management mode, you're going to want to per prefer maximum performance texture filtering off qual oh yeah texture filtering quality press high performance I usually do performance since I do have a very good uh, graphics card but for low-end graphics cards um, click high performance texture filtering trial and optimization that's your choice and that should be all. Apply. That's all for this. Now what you're also going to want to do is go to your run menu, type in battery, then go to change power saving settings I believe it is. Then um, since mine has a switcher it's a little different. So you're going to want to click on high performance and then you're done with that. And that's, oh yeah, one more thing. <laughs> you might, this is just a little extra step. So if you don't want the extra download and steps, then just click out the video, like, um, comment, all that good stuff. So this is the downloading part. If you're gonna wanna spend money, and this I highly, highly recommend, um, download AVG PC tune-up 2012, 2011, whatever it's at right now. Um, it's very good. Just do like all the stuff that it says for you to do. Or if you want to go free for a bit cheaper stuff, go to CC Cleaner. Um, oh yeah, I forgot. There's actually installed stuff already on here to clean out your computer. Go to all programs. This should be the almost exactly the same for Windows XP 
and uh, Vista. Go to Accessories, um, System Tools. Now you're going to want to check, analyze your computer for uh, defragmentation. One second. Um, disk clean, oops. Um, oh yeah, go to System Tools, then go back to uh, press Disk Cleanup. This also frees up a lot of space in uh, junk files. Uh, click on your C drive. This might take just a little, and I don't know why that disk defragment did not pop up. Oh well. Oh yeah, AVG PC tune-up comes with a lot of stuff. DST frag. So, AVGs and uh, the one that is installed on your computer are about the same. But I, oh yeah, and uh, back to disk cleanup. Um, I clean up mine out a lot, but just click on all these. These are just uh, all junk files. Thumbnails, yeah, I delete them. Like, uh, what it does is um, it deletes the thumbnails temporarily until you see them again. Temporary files, those are just junk files from, like, the internet. That's when you press percent time TMP percent sign. You're going to find your temp folder. This is how you do it manually. Shift click. I know, uh, I can. Yeah, shift click, then uh, delete all those. Skip, skip, skip. But um, oh yeah. So then we got the disk defrag, and um, you're gonna want to press analyze. And this should take just a little, so I'm gonna pause the video. Okay, that did not take very long. Um, for my computer, it took about 30 seconds because I have 8 gigabytes of RAM. Um, but the less RAM, the lower processor, the longer it's going to take to analyze. Analyzing is the short part, though. So I'm 17% fragmented, which I'm actually surprised at how much it's fragmented. But I would say 11% more or. Um, 11% or more definitely defrag. Now, defrag does take a while. It takes, depending on your computer, it will take from like an hour to all night. So, anyways, so press defrag. I'm not going to do that. Well, actually, yeah. So, yeah, defrag your computer. Um, and delete all these. And with CC Cleaner, so because I'm guessing that you're probably going to download that, you're going to just. No, I don't want to download that right now. Um, you're going to want to just uh, click on all these. Um, then you're going to want to run cleaner. Uh, registry errors. They extremely slow down your computer. You're going to want to get rid of those. Scan for issues. Wow. Oh. Okay, so that just freed up about 50 megabytes because I I always run scans like this on uh, AVG PC tune-up. AVG PC tune-up's about like $30, I think. Totally worth it. Um, fix. Okay. Um, the, oh yes, I forgot one more thing. Um, do msconfig, and then there should be a program that pops up, msconfig.exe. Um, then go to startup, 
This will speed up your startup and a lot more things. Well, your whole computer. So you're going to select all the things that you do not want to start. Do not ever uh, click off something that you don't know what it is. Because chances are it might be something really important. But um, yeah, that's all that stuff. Disable anything that you don't want. That should take you about like five, ten minutes, depending on how much stuff you have. Um, this is to boot your time fat I um, computer faster. Do no GUI boot, and that's about it. Then click apply. It will tell you to restart your computer. And um, yeah, just restart your computer. And that's that's pretty much about it. Thank you for watching. Uh, please leave a like or a comment. And yeah, thank you for watching.